Hey folks, and welcome back. You're probably wondering what this is. This is a magnetron out of an old microwave oven. Today we're gonna to see if we can generate microwaves with this using a low power, high voltage supply. Let's begin. Thanks folks for checking back. Today I'm gonna to show you an interesting experiment not the safest, but nonetheless interesting. I had this uh, magnetron that I harvested out of an old microwave oven years and years ago, and it was sitting on a shelf, and I decided that I was gonna just test it to see if it still makes microwaves. Um, for whatever reason, the microwave oven had stopped working, and it was either the magnetron, the transformer, or some other part of the microwave that was broken. But anyway, I kept this, and I'm gonna test it using a low power setup. So, um, in order to run these, you have to put a certain voltage across the filament, usually about three to five volts to turn the filament on. The filament is part of the cathode. Then there's a hard vacuum in this, in this uh, device. And uh, the metal part, the metal casing of the device is positively charged. So electrons fly off the cathode, the heated cathode, and they <clears throat> get into little cavities inside this device and generate microwaves when they start resonating. And then the, the two magnets on the end help to uh, concentrate the, uh, the microwaves that are formed and then allow them to be directed out of the waveguides. Um, and that's basically how it gets into the oven itself. Then this pink stuff here is beryllium oxide, which is very toxic to breathe in. But this acts as a uh, good material for uh, transmitting the microwaves and not getting too hot. So we're gonna turn it on and I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna operate this. We're gonna use a low power, high voltage power supply, which I built myself using a lamp power supply. This one's rated for about 12 watts and a voltage multiplier. So the positive output of the voltage multiplier goes to the metal casing of the magnetron and the negative or ground of the power supply goes to the filament. Now, I have to run the filament. So I've got these two alligator clips to run the filament from this small transformer here. This transformer is rated for 24 volts, but I'm, I'm gonna use a, a variac to reduce the voltage so that I'm only gonna get about five volts going to the filament, but enough voltage to make this thing run. So, um, Everything's plugged in here. So this is my high voltage power supply. And here's my filament power supply via this variac, which I've pre-adjusted to give me about five volts on the filament. And in order to detect the microwaves, I've got um, a couple of uh, small bulbs here. I've got a neon bulb and I've got a CFL. Now you have to use the inverse square law to stay about as far away as this from this as you can to reduce exposure to microwaves. I'm not gonna get more than about 20 watts worth of microwaves coming out of this anyway, because of the low, uh, for the very low power of my high voltage supply. If I was to use a microwave oven transformer, I'd be seeing 750 watts or kilowatt coming out of this. So definitely you do not wanna do that in an open space if you're near it. So let's begin, let's turn it all on and let's see if we can detect microwaves. I do have a uh, microwave leak detector on order, but it hasn't come in yet. So I'm just gonna use these bulbs here to uh, detect the microwaves. So let's move them off like that. Let's uh, turn on our high voltage. And you can hear a little bit of hissing from the high voltage. Now let's turn on our filament, pre-adjusted to five volts. Here it goes. So the filament is now activated. Now let's see if we're getting any microwaves. So I'm gonna bring this bulb near to it. And there you are. There are some microwaves coming out. Enough to light that bulb. Now let's try the CFL. See if it'll light the CFL. There it goes. So enough microwaves to light your CFL. Now the microwaves will also come out the back. They come out the front and the back. And as you can see here, there's microwave radiation 
coming from the back of the magnetron. Let's try the neon and see if we can detect it. There you go. Now, if I turn the filament off, you're gonna see uh, the output suddenly diminish to nothing. So I'm gonna turn off the filament and it should stop making microwaves. There you go. Quick demonstration, hope you like that. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. And uh, if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.